So when I first started writing my paper for my capstone, my 495 class, um, I wanted to talk about Jane Austen because I love Jane Austen. Um, I'm a self-admitted Jane Austen fangirl. I'm not ashamed. I'm very proud. Um, and so the question that I came to originally was, what, what is it about Jane Austen? Why are we still adapting her? Why are we still making Pride and Prejudice movies? Like, what? What is it about them? And I quickly came to realize that this was not a very good question. This was way too broad of a research question. There are way too many answers to it. And so instead, I came up with a better question, which was, okay, what are these new adaptations bringing to the table? And um, more importantly, why should I care? And so for my project, I looked at the most, probably the most recent um, Pride and Prejudice adaptation, The Lizzie Bennet Diaries. It's a YouTube series. It's very funny if you haven't watched it. Um, it's a good laugh. But the most interesting thing that The Lizzie Bennet Diaries brought to the table is its new multimedia adaptation. Um, <clears throat> and that's actually not a new idea. It's been going on for years and years. Um, but it's implementing it in a new way. As you can see behind me, these are a few examples of the multimedia nature of this adaptation. Instead of just having the YouTube videos, there was also Facebook pages. The characters had Facebook pages. The um, characters had Twitter accounts. And <clears throat> um, interestingly enough, in a number of different episodes, the characters would, you know, wrap up what they were doing and they'd say, oh, let's, you know, let's go to Bingley's party. We're going to go out and party. And then if you happen to follow them on Twitter, you could see what they were doing. They would live tweet what was going on at the party. Lydia would say, let's go do sock slides in Bingley's awesome hallway. And then Jane would say, I can't find Bing anywhere. You know, these kind of live tweets of what's going on. And the reason that that matters is that <clears throat> this kind of adaptation is driving towards a new, more immersive, more personal kind of entertainment. Instead of just watching something happen and having it be closed to you, you get to actively participate in this kind of adaptation. And so this um, harkens back to, you know, dozens and dozens of, or sorry, hundreds of years ago, um, Shakespeare had these kind of audience participation things going on in his works. He encouraged people to boo and shout and cheer whenever they felt like it. And this is that same kind of thing. And so if you have the opportunity to participate in a multimedia adaptation like this, I would encourage you to go for it. Thank you.